Hello and welcome to Spinsus Library. I'm Claudia and today I want to talk about some recommendation requests that I have for you. This is kind of a follow-up of a follow-up. Two years ago I did a video called Weirdly Specific Recommendation Requests, I'll link that in the description box, in which I asked you for some recommendations for books that I was craving. You know, tropes, genres, things that I wanted to read about, and I got so many recommendations for that. In fact, I still haven't read all of the books that you recommended to me. I will get to them eventually, but I haven't read all of them yet. However, the ones that I did read in the past two years, I have made a review video about, which I'll also link in the description box. But I have also kept a running list of more recommendation requests, and today I want to ask you for book recommendations that fill those briefs. I have five requests for you, and I will number them one through five, so that when you recommend me a book, you can uh, add the number in the comments so I know which request you are fulfilling. Thank you already in advance for the request that I know you are going to bless me with in the comment section. I also want this video to act as a little bit of a discussion starter, so if you yourself have any recommendation requests, if you have books that you really want to read but you're not quite sure if those books are out there, then um, put your request in the comments as well and I and other people will have a look through that and see if we can recommend something for you. Before we get into the requests, I want to address something that I think came up last time I did a video like this, which is, why don't you just Google it? And yeah, of course I could just type my requests into Google and see what comes up, but the reason why I'm asking people who watch my YouTube videos is that hopefully you have a better idea of my reading tastes than Google or Goodreads lists will. So let's get into them. My first request is for a novel that features a female spy. And it doesn't have to be a a stereotypical spy novel of the genre spy novel. It could be a romance novel that features a female spy or a piece of historical fiction, maybe even a piece of non-fiction. I'm sure there's loads of non-fiction books written about female spies of history, but it would also be very interesting to read a, an actual spy novel with all the spy novel archetypes that has as its main character a female spy. And bonus points if it is a classic, meaning if it is a book maybe from the early 20th century or the mid 20th century, or even, I guess, even the late 20th century. Uh, I, as you know, enjoy myself a good book that's older than I am, and if there is a 20th century classic that features a female spy, that's actually that's all. If there is a 20th century classic that features a female spy, then I probably want to read it. Number two. I want to read a historical novel that's set in South Italy, but not Sicily. As you might be aware, my family, as in both of my parents, are from the Italian region of Calabria. On the map of Italy, that is literally the toes, you know, the, the piece of Italy that kicks the football that is Sicily. Um, and I know that there are novels that are set on Sicily because it is kind of like a, a very romanticized part of Italy. It has a very rich medieval history and then you have the whole sort of mafia interests. But both of those things happen to exist in Calabria as well. So if you know of a good historical novel, can be any period of history, it could be uh, about antiquity. In fact, I would really love to read uh, a novel set in antiquity that is set in the Greek occupied uh, part of South Italy. But it could be a, a piece of medieval history, it could be 19th century, it could be 20th century. Any historical novel set in South Italy, but not Sicily, I would love to read. And bonus points if it is written by an Italian author. Now my Italian is pretty terrible at this point. Uh, I've lived in the UK for six years and even before then my mother tongue was always German. But I'd give it a good shot, you know, I'd give it a good go with Google Translate at my hands. I've never read a book in Italian, but I'm ready for the challenge. Number three, and this is one that I'm sure I'm going to get loads of recommendations for, because really this one is pretty easy. I want to read a book in which people talk to animals, or animals talk to people, 
I want to read a book where there's some animal human communication going on but I don't want it to be a high fantasy I want it to be a book broadly set in our real modern world if I think back to my favorite book series of my childhood and no surprisingly it wasn't Harry Potter it was actually um, a four part book series called The Magician's House by William Corlett. There were two things about that book that I loved immensely. One was alchemy, there was alchemy involved in the book, and two there were talking animals and I loved the way that that animal-human communication was done in that book, in that, in, the, in that book series. And then just recently I read The Goose Girl by Shannon Hale. I did a review for that, which I'll also link in the description box. And again, the human-animal communication was a huge part of that. However, that book was set in a complete fantasy world. I want a book set in a modern world in which people and animals communicate. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a very easy one. I feel like that is a very popular trope. Speaking of tropes, number four is another trope that I recently read and realized how much I love, and that is the woman alone in the wilderness trope. Uh, I am referring to my recent read of the novel Circe by Madeline Miller. Now, this is a Greek mythology retelling, and large parts of the book are spent with the main character stuck on an island all by herself. And I love that so much. I like reading about women who are on their own, who are fending for themselves, who are quite literally taken out of society, and by taken out of society are freed from the constraints of being a woman in society. I loved that aspect of it. So I am requesting to read more books that feature that trope. They can be any genre. This could be another mythology retelling, it could be another fantasy, it could be historical fiction, it could be science fiction, it could be a, you know, a classic, it could be a dystopian novel, anything, anything. I want to read a book where there is a woman who's living all by herself in some sort of wilderness. It doesn't have to be all that the novel is about, it could just be a part of the novel, but I, I want to read and feel like I could totally survive by myself for more than five minutes if I was out there in the nature, which we all know I wouldn't. Number five. Now, I've already mentioned the Shannon Hale book that I really enjoyed, The Goose Girl, and that is a retelling of an old brother's grim fairy tale. And that made me realise I actually really like retellings of brother's grim fairy tales and I want to read more, but I want to read retellings that are not modernized. I don't want a retelling that's set in our modern world. I want a retelling that's set in a fairy tale world, in a fantasy world, and it doesn't have to be exactly the same world that the, the Grimm brothers um, wrote down. It doesn't have to be 19th century German inspired. It can be any fantasy world, but I really want to read a Grimm fairy tale retelling that is set in a magical world. Bonus points if it is of one of the more obscure fairy tales. I think that's partly why I enjoyed The Goose Girl so much, because it wasn't Snow White. My favourite grim fairy tale, by the way, is uh, one called Frau Holle, which is about an old lady who controls the weather if there is a retelling of that and it's good, I want to read it. Uh, but yeah, any fairy tale will do. And those were my five... I don't want to call them weirdly specific recommendation requests. They were just generally specific, right? They're not weirdly specific. So those were my five recommendation requests. I am really excited to see the books that you recommend and I can't wait to put them on a long list again and then hopefully eventually buy some of those books. At the moment I'm on a kind of a strict book no buy because I don't go to shops so there's no chance of me picking up books in charity shops like I normally do. I'm uh, a little bit ahead of my audible credits so I have to wait until like I think in, in two months before I, I can get myself another audiobook and um, I've lost my Kindle so ebooks aren't really happening. 
But once all of those things align for me, I am going to get myself some of the books that you recommend. I'm super excited to see which books you are going to recommend to me. And also, please remember to write your own recommendation requests in the comments so we can all have a little recommendation party in there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!